Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to share some quick um, risen pieces that I did today. Um, this is actually my second time using and playing with risen. Um, also, this is my third package that I received of new molds from House of Ink of Houston. I will post her link down below um, so you could go to her webpage and purchase her um, a mold she have great great molds if you go to um, her website or her channel uh, she have them at um, reasonable prices so this is my third package and I um, will probably receive a fourth package I'm probably gonna order some new ones tonight I'm gonna check on her website and see if she found any new ones I mean if she posted any new ones I am looking if anyone knows um, anyone that's selling um, the Hello Kitty nerd mold I am like in search for that mold um, um, so if you do know anyone please send me a message and let me know but um, I'm gonna show you some stuff that um, the molds that I got today along with the risen pieces that I did I also did a little bit of shopping today and at my um, local 99 cent store in which I went and purchased a whole bunch of great stickers for just a dollar and um, also um, I went in Best Buy today to pick up a gift that um, someone had purchased for me and it was a great needed tool. I got a mini tripod by Dexon or something like that. I'll show you the name of the company. That's the name of the company called Dexon and this was only for $9.99 um, and it's a mini tripod and it's great. You prop up your camera which is great. I love it. Um, I'm actually using it now so I don't have to hold it which is great. So um, this is one of the molds that I received today from House of Ink of Houston. Um, here's another one which I already have a lip mold. I just needed two so that I could work on two lips at the same time. This is her plaque four by four mold. Um, great for doing um, small plaques um, and it probably doesn't take as much risen as the bigger one. Um, this is their, her circle one. I love this one. I can't wait to use it. Like It has like the little teardrop looking um, molds um, you could probably use for like earrings or something. So, and this I ordered the paperweight mold. Um, can't wait to use that one too. I'm probably going to go on tonight and place another order. Um, if she have, um, I really want the Hello Kitty bowl and I want the, um, the, uh, what is it? The Hello Kitty, uh, silicone mold. So she has not at a reasonable price. So I can't wait. These are just some other molds that I already received. Like the lips already had another star and heart palette. And um, I have the light switch, and I actually did a piece on that one, so I'll show you that one in a second. Um, here are some of the pieces I did with the resin. This was the light switch. It came out pretty, pretty good. Um, the This is a trowel and ever piece, basically. I haven't sanded this. I haven't glazed it. It does, the mold does have a watermark. But once you glaze it, you're not going to see the watermark, which it really doesn't matter. Um, this is the back. So I used the pink, the yellow, the green, and the blue. Um, this piece I had to actually do twice. Um, not two times, but what I did was um, I made a mistake. And um, when I laid, placed my stickers in and I put my glitter in, I just totally forgot to lay the last layer on top and I popped it out. So I actually did that by mistake with um, my very first piece. So like I said, these are trial and errors. So that is the light switch with the bunnies. The It's basically an Easter theme. These were Easter, some leftover Easter stickers I had. So I just wanted to use it. Um, this is another piece that I did. It came out cute, but then I'm... Did the same thing I popped it back in and messed up on it and now it has like this little bubbly thing that you see here I tried to sand it off but it really didn't work but I'm not gonna be using these pieces so it doesn't really matter here's some lips that I made the for pride 
um, trial and error. So I know what to do now. So this is just for my own, you know, guide as in what not to do. This is the lips. Here's the very, very first lips that I made, which is red hot. And this is one that I didn't lay the extra layer on, but now that I do, I can remake this over. And I hope there's no kids watching. If so, please forgive me for what I'm about to show you. This is my prod piece that I'm gonna be making for requested. These are, you know, what they are. Um, these are the back. I haven't sanded them. I haven't glazed them. So this is how they look. Um, if anyone out there that have any suggestions on how I can do these better, not this per se, but what I don't like if I think I could, you could see it better on this one where you see where I started my risen and then put the glitter and then put the last layer. I don't like that. So I think my correction with this is doing a very thin layer of um, resin, then putting the glitter and then putting the last coat on. So I, I'm going to try that and see if that works first. But if anyone has any great suggestions or tricks for the trade, please do send me a message and let me know. Here's some bowls that I made. Hello Kitty bowls from the bow palette I bought from House of Ink of Houston. Um... Here's a heart piece. This is the back. I haven't fouled these or glazed these up yet. As of yet, I'm sorry. Same thing with this one. And I actually use this. It's like a little little trinket I brought from Michaels that I just stuck in there, and actually stayed um, after a few times of pushing it down. And this is another trial and error piece. Uh with the raindrops and the umbrella and I used a tinsel yellow glitter. It came out pretty okay. It's not hard, it's still bendy. So I don't know where I went wrong with that, but this is just a trial and error. I have one that I actually is stuck in the mold that I messed up on as you see. The color clashed. So, but you make mistakes and you learn from them as you can see. So I got to get this one out the most kind of like stuck in there. And um, earlier today, I bought some um, stickers. So if anybody's interested in these Hello Kitty stickers, I only paid a dollar for them and you get 286 stickers and it's a book. And it just have a whole bunch of Hello Kitty stickers. As you can see, just different ones. So let me know. And then I just bought a whole bunch from the dollar store. <laughs> my 99, my nearest 99 cent store. These are some owls, some aliens, some fish, some baseballs. Baseball, I think that's basketball, yeah. Some flowers and bugs, some ladybugs, some mermaids, <laughs> some um, happy birthday ones, but it's other stuff on here that I can use besides happy birthday. I really, really like this one. It was just too cute. I brought two of them. And I actually like this one. It's like so springy with little ducks and stuff. And it says duck and quack and all of that. And music notes, colorful ones. Some more music notes with like hats on them and different faces. Those are cute. A girly one <laughs> and this one is more religion I'm making a magnet for somebody that per day requests for their house so <laughs> I bought some for a little bit for everybody so those are the things that I bought today so um, like I said these are my new resin pieces I have my glaze and stuff over here I haven't used it as yet and what you see in front is just some um, a charm bracelet that I just, I made, I didn't just make this, but I made this a, a, about a, two weeks ago and I have to make some adjustments like the head pin slips out. So I kind of, I'm going to use my E6000 glue to seal them in. And, um, if anyone has any better techniques on how to keep the head pins in, please do let me know. Um, some of these, um, are, these are all polyclay, um, charms that I made. Um, as you can see, I made a duck and a 
Mickey face, mini or whatever. I made a lollipop, fishbowl, um, and um, the person I got this idea from was um, so craftistic or something like that. This one I googled, this one I seen this, and I thought it was the coolest thing, so I tried it, and it came out pretty okay. And this is another cupcake that I made, and I made a cake, a rainbow cake for a necklace with a plate that, and a purple plate that glitters. I mean, yeah, it has glitter in it. It looked like a little fondant cake with dot, polka dots on it, and my little bubble gum machine that I made, all these I made, and this is like actually my first time making playing with poly clay i pretty did i did a good job you just follow the instructions on i have a book over there oh you can't see it but it's over there in the corner but this is a burger that i made and my disney cupcakes i got this idea from um paper pastel she did an expired cupcake and these are this is how mine came out my mini came out all jacked up but it's okay and i made a part tart so these are all charm bracelets i made a donut they all down there and i have a cake oh i little slice of cake as you can see with a cherry on the top and it has looked like the, the frosting is dripping as you see so i got creative with it and actually it was my first time actually messing with it like i said so i hope you guys really really enjoy the video if so comment below um if you would like to subscribe and you know follow me through my journey of playing with risen and poly clay and whatever other crafts and good ideas i'm not going to just always do you know craft things i am a um, savvy shopper so i like to also post um links of places where i got great deals and um stuff from so i'll also be doing that along with this Weekend, I'll be starting um fitness boot camp for the next six to eight weeks. So y'all just be following me with that a journey as well. I'll be posting that and my results and stuff, and we see how that goes. So this is my third time doing it, so I don't even think about it. But anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy.